Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jasper Bell, and we are going to tour the Hunting Lodge by Sinisa. That's on uh, the leaderboards under Large Homes. I'm looking at newly published right now. I don't know where it is uh, on any of the other rating systems of the leaderboards, but it's so it's one of the newly published homes. And if you are attempting to find it via entering a city, it is uh, under the Manners of Aralisi, and the homeowner is actually Liliana, Lilania, sorry, Lilania. Uh, the information is uh, down in the lower left-hand corner, so you can see that and actually read it instead of trying to decipher what the heck I'm saying. So this home is very nice. It is a new house theme with a lot of um, high keep, at least in the front room. I have seen this home, yes. That does not mean that I remember it. So far today I have toured 25 houses, so I'm a little bit forgetful about the various things in the houses. I like how the centerpiece here on the table matches the pillars up here and how the um, banners here match the window seat. That's very nice. And this little under the stair area has some, has a wine rack and stuff like that. I like how there's a storage area back there. Here's a sideboard with food, awesome. We sort of poked our heads outside. I kind of pointed my camera in that direction. And she's taken one of the uh, Station Cash gazebos, which I really love this gazebo by Kristen Chamberlain. Um, and she's made it her own. She's added different pillars, and then she's put in the, the icy walls here and draped it in plants, which really makes it gives it sort of a, a, a greenhouse Feel. And it explains why the fountain, the water in the fountain is running when it's all frozen outside. I like that. So let's go back inside and let's head downstairs first. So downstairs, yes, I'm receiving quite a few tells. Um, actually, strangely enough, when I'm recording, I can't hear the game sounds, but you guys do. So. <laughs> Sorry for that. So this is, I really, really like this oven area here. It's just, um, it's, it's kind of old fashioned and very much period for, for a lot of what you see in Norath. I mean, of course, Norath has things like personal flying machines that the gnomes have built, but then it also, you know, has things like brick fireplaces, not brick fireplaces, brick ovens and things like that. So so I like this. This works really, really well. And I like the eye for detail, the fact that right here even, it's stone instead of wood because, you know, I'd be worried if it were wood that it might catch on fire. So kudos. I also wish I'd thought of this myself. I love how she used the, um, the Majdul uh, door knockers to hold up the the cage bars so that it's, it's uh, 25 houses means my brain has gone completely blank on what so many things are called. You all know what this is. Yeah. And I like this counter here, or not counter, wow. These cabinets here, they both start with C, that's close enough, right? I like how there's this huge assortment of bottles right here and how she flipped this one around so that it has the same you know, it, it's the same general shape and everything as the other one since it's the same redwood bookcase, just using the back side instead of the front. I like that. All right, let's go back. Oh, that was really weird. Everything went dark. Figured I should probably respond to the tells instead of just telling you guys that yes, I was. Ew. 
ew, ew. I'm sorry. That's um, so. Uh, <laughs> my, my cat was was demanding attention earlier, and I was petting him, and apparently he drooled all over my enter key, and I hadn't actually typed anything since he did that, and so I just stuck my finger in cat drool. It was kind of disgusting. All right, anyways, moving on. <laughs> Upstairs we go. So this room is very nice in in very natural tones, browns and and uh, yellows and gold. So it's it's really kind of neat in here. And here's the bathroom. And I have to gush about this toilet. This toilet is I just love it. I mean, the 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 drum is the same practically the same shade as the uh the briarwood blocks and it just it's the right shape too and it's just I love it. I, I don't know why more people haven't thought of using the the uh the drum as a toilet. I guess cuz we're not used to thinking of wood as a toilet since we tend to use porcelain. So we usually go for something that looks sort of porcelain like. So that's just awesome. Kudos. All right. So I know that there's something over to the right, but I'm skipping it right now because I want to go look in here, which is Murar Shah's his bedroom. You know who he is. <laughs> I cannot talk tonight. So yes, it's his bedroom, and he gets a litter box. I have to say, I am on the one hand, I'm glad that there is nothing deposited in the litter box. On the other hand, I would find it absolutely hilarious if there was, because that's the sort of humor that my guild loves. So, yes, more than once I have found little deposits under NPCs. So, moving on. This is a lovely, lovely, obviously, the queen's bedroom. She gets the same toilet. Very nice. And she gets a bathtub with a nice fluffy stack of towels and her basin here for washing her hands. Seating area in front of the fireplace. The roses in there are a nice touch. And her bed. Very nice. And then the purples throughout for the curtains and the seats and the rug. Very nice work. Okay. So now we're going to go to what is my favorite spot here. I really, really like this for some reason. I just, you know, here's a little table here. Oh, it's this, this railing here too. Let me go off to the side. I adore this railing. See. Lovely, lovely. I've seen people use this for railings before, but never inside a house. It's always been outside a house. And I've never seen it with the uh the top um as a black marble railing and it works perfectly. So there's that and then here's her desk and they use uh, the, the very rare shields, which I love, love open defense. I wish we could get more of them. I love them so much. Um, I won't say what other people have pointed out about the shield. Suffice to say, it's kind of naughty. But I, I, it's a gorgeous shield. Um, <laughs> and now everyone's going to be looking at it and wondering how it's naughty. Uh, and then here in the background, you know, having the red rug and then the red banis uh, banister, tapestries. It's just very nice. And she managed to arrange it just so that the window happened to be right over uh, the um, cap. What is this thing? Well, the dresser, but she's using it as, as not a desk, a... You know what that thing is. That thing is just like a table, but... Ah. 
Moving on, because obviously my ability to speak has completely gone down one of her lovely wooden toilets, um, I just have to say it's a very nice job. This is, like I said, it's my favorite part of the house for some reason. I don't know why. It's just very well put together. I like the flow throughout the house, and that just really pulls it together for me. So very well done, Sunissa, and um, good luck on the on the in the competition thank you so much for participating